Hello guys, this is Odo with another episode of Beef for Vanilla. I decided to record right away because I am stuck in a one by one by one hole area. Like what happened? <laughs> Did I lose my legs? Did I lose my torso? I, is it just my head? I wanna know. Right, we're gonna find out. <laughs> Welcome to Be For <laughs> Um, Let's try and get out. There we go. Wasn't too bad. Uh, so, here's the house. I've added an expansion. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> For some reason, there's something in my throat, and it's, it's it happens almost every time I record. Um, so yeah, windows, little trap door, and then this. Now this is this is gonna be our way to get up and down, but then also we'll we'll probably have a doorway that leads that way. A doorway that leaves that way to different rooms. Uh, this this is going to be a fun house, a crazy house, a house without, you know. There's not gonna be a roof. There's not gonna be a kitchen. Now, there might be a kitchen, but it, it you know it might be like floating somewhere off on the side, and I don't know. We we I don't know. That's the thing. It's a fun house because it's gonna be fun. To figure it out. I don't know. <laughs> I want it to be interesting to look at. Not necessarily pretty to look at, just interesting to look at. So far, I'm not sure about it. Which is, I guess that's, 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 that's good. If I'm not sure about it, then it's probably good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, my my idea is that it'll probably look weird for most part. Uh, but eventually we'll we'll start understanding what's going on, or we'll start understanding what we want to see within it. Uh, so we do want I would want to make it eventually go down because we do have this really pretty area here. Ah, uh, I have a really pretty area on this side of the, oh, below. Our house is that way, it's right there. And then down here, there's a whole, okay, ooh, there's this area, which would be really nice to, um, to build upon, or uh, build upon, right? I can't remember what this is. Ooh, this might be the other nice area. Yeah, we could expand our, our base down. Yes, look at this. I came down here looking for some... Some, uh... Sand. <laughs> some sand, and I found this. I just dropped in, and then I noticed that there's a chunk of stuff missing, and it's water everywhere. And it's just so pretty. Okay, so, today... Uh, we might do some work on the house. Or we might... Actually, I, we could go to spawn and see how things are looking. I, I was there not too long ago. And um, it looks like people have been building and they've been busy doing it. Bus busy building. Yeah, where am I? Ooh, what is this area? It's like I never... I haven't ever... Oh, look at this area. This is pretty. We could also use this. We could use it all. Oh, uh, go up, 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 this way. Up, 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 up. We definitely need a better way of getting up to our place. That's, that's just... We need to figure that out. No, this is not it. How do I do this? Can't remember. Oh, there we go. Now I know where I am. Uh, 
Okay, so I was thinking maybe at during the day it's just me and Biz. Maybe during the day we'll go exploring. Make sure it's just look around because I, I honestly haven't been anywhere aside from spawn and and this spawn is right there. All I've done is this and actually I've been to the Mesa. But that's about it. And that's sad. It's, it's sad. I, sh I should understand what's going on outside in our surroundings. Thank you. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna collect some some of this so we can have a green room next. Or maybe a lime room. But I'll, I'll see you guys after when we go exploring. Okay. We have our green clay. Oh, they're nice and pretty. But first, before we do any any kind of expansion, I'm going to go. I'm going to take you guys with me over to see the planes. I know, planes should be really plain. But our, we, we need to see what's around. And the planes is easy to, 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 to see. I, I look around, it's easier. You know, I can't talk today. I've been having a weird, sick, non-sick kind of two days where I, I feel like I'm getting sick, but then I get home and I'm not sick. Thank you. What time is it? It's midday. So yeah, um, I want to talk to you about uh, what happened to me yesterday. Ooh. Oh. We have a swamp nearby. I want to talk to you guys about what happened to me yesterday. It was so freaky. And, and as I've never been in that position. So I want to talk to you about it. Because it's weird. And I was crying by the end of it. Uh, yesterday on my way to work. Uh, I, wa I, I walked past. I, I bus to work. So I, went, I walked over to to the bus stop and on my way there I see a suitcase that looks kind of suspicious because it's a suitcase that looks like a traveling suitcase well that's my phone it's a set traveling suitcase that looks kind of dirty and kind of shady and at the same time it um uh, it's open on one side with a converse sticking out of it and the way it's sticking out, it kind of looked like it was... Like it, it couldn't... It was sticking out in a way that I would have thought that it would have fallen off the suitcase. Because it was... It, it was so far out that it should have fallen off. But it didn't. So I, I... My immediate thought was, there's a dead body in there. So instead of calling the police, I was running late for work. On one side, and then at this other side, I'm a complete chicken. S so that I I literally run away. the The thought of it being a dead body, I just went <gasps> and then run away. Like Im immediately, it, it was. I uh, no, no, no. I like I even thought about maybe like giving the converse a little kick to make sure that they'll fall off but at the thought of uh, it, it all happened so so fast I thought I'm late for work point number one point number two I should call the police point number three this looks creepy I should maybe make sure it's not dead point number four I don't want to move now I don't want to touch it I'm, I'm leaving bolting bye bye <laughs> like that, no it just went so fast Oh, maybe I want more of those for for um for for dye. Yes. Um. Yeah. So I freaked out. I was also really sleepy, so my thinking wasn't. I wasn't thinking very well. I don't do well in the mornings, and I don't do well with scary things. So that was that was two things that I don't do well. So, anyways. Uh, at work, I kept thinking about it. Like I should have at least made sure that it, you know, that 
that the converse wasn't attached to a foot or anything of the sort. Uh, but I didn't, so I was thinking, ah, oh, maybe on my way home, I'll I'll double check if it's still there. All right. Uh, so what? I, that's what I did. I got. I went home. I made sure to leave kind of early-ish, so that it wouldn't be dark and nighttime by the time I got there. I don't wanna. If if I if that was the case and there was actually a dead body in there, I did not want to. I don't. I did not want it to be dark because that's another. I'm a chicken. I don't do well with dark. I don't do well with scary things. Um. Yeah, and so on my way to work, I did that. I went over and double checked it, and it looked different, and it looked even more suspicious. It looked like either like a dog or something pulled pulled the person out, so you could see the back and the waist and the hip, and it looked like the the legs were still inside the backpack, um, inside the suitcase. And I was, f I was freaking out because I was thinking that looks like a young child. That looks like maybe a, a teen or a tween or a teen or something. Right? Ooh, hello. And so I did. I did call the police. And the guy was asking me to, do, to describe the thing. And every time he asked me to describe it or describe this or describe that, I kept doing like one step backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go back and see it. I'm far enough away that I'm comfortable right here where I am. I'm just going to stay here until the police get here. And uh, But please stay on the phone with me. <laughs> like, I don't... I was really freaked out. That I, was, I think I was telling the guy, like, I think it's a dead body, but I'm hoping it's not a dead body. But it looks like a young child is in there. Anyways, the police get there, but I didn't know what the car would look like. I was hoping for, you know, the white cars with the blue lights, and blue and red lights, and, you know, a sign that says, uh, a sign that said, police on the car, but no, this creepy looking car pulls up very slowly. And it, it looks, it looks like, and th there's two guys in there, and they look like they're, they might want to kill me. So I'm, I'm talking to the dispatcher. So what kind of car I'm looking for? And he says, oh, they should be right there. Are they not there? And I'm like, they could be there, but I don't know. This is a car that just pulled up, and I'm kind of freaked out, and I don't know what this is. Uh, so he says, wave at them. I'm like, oh, should I wave or should I run? Like I don't understand. This looks really creepy. Um, anyways, it, it was the cops, luckily. Hey, hey, we're in the desert biome. It was the it was the the, the police with the the creepy the creepy men were the police, luckily, and oh no. The creepy mean were the police, and uh, I was out of sight of like I, I there I, I there was a like it like, freaks me out. And spoiler alert: there is no dead body. Oh gosh, I'm just gonna hide in here. There was no dead body, luckily, but it was freaky. As uh. The guy, the, the, the police got his, like, st stomped on what I thought was a dead body. Oh, gosh. And then he said, it's nothing. It's just a sleeping bag. <laughs> like, what about the converse? Is there a converse in there? I kept like, he didn't answer my question, but I kept asking, like, is there a converse in there? Please tell me, is there a converse in there? Uh, so yeah. Uh, the police were, were, I'm gonna stay in here while I finish my story. It's not very long. It's gonna end in three seconds. No. Um, the police did say that he, when he looked at it, he thought the same thing. That it, it might have been 
it could have been uh, um, a body. He he saw what I saw. You know, a, a small frame of a person. But luckily, yes, yeah, just a sleeping bag. And I am very relieved. As soon as he said it was nothing and there was a sleeping bag, you know, he said, oh, you can come over and look. And I said, no, <laughs> like, I'm not. And I said, but it's nothing. So I went over and looked and I saw there was actually a sleeping bag and I started crying from relief. And I went home. Um, feeling a little stupid for wasting the time, like wasting time from the police. But at the same time, he, he was glad that I called it in anyway. I am really happy that I called it in. Because knowing that there's something creepy just two blocks away from my house was already creepy enough. Nope. Anyways, I'm gonna dig down for a bit, see if I find anything. And uh, we're gonna go back to the house afterwards. Or maybe we should do some caving. No, we'll, we'll go back to the house. We've done some caving three out of the four episodes of the series. So we're not going to do caving on camera today. But during the morning, we are going to build some more. I'll see you then. What is this? I'm, I'm go heading back home. But I, I am feeling a little lost. There's... What are the horses doing there? I am feeling a little lost. I don't know... Which way... I think it's that way? But whose is this? Oh, Hector's new area. How new is it? I'm guessing really new. She's been digging. Has it been digging? I don't think he's been digging. I'm pretty sure this is, you know. Oh, did I just hear what I think I heard? Oh, you gotta be careful. They might die. Hector! They might stop. It, this guy's thing is gonna be fine, but these three, the, well, these four. They're scared me. Are you guys okay? I don't have anything to feed you. I would feed you otherwise. Okay. Ooh, is it that way? I think it's that way. I see flowers. Oh yeah, we can see it from over here. I think it looks good. It just needs more. So we're gonna add a green room. I think I'm going to build it off camera because I want to keep the video to 20 minutes and I think I'm going to be over that. So I'm going to build it off camera and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Uh, I find that during the building process everything looks kind of weird and then afterwards putting it, like when things get together or start, yeah, getting, uh, <laughs> English, not good. Ah, when things are start to, you know, as separate pieces, they look weird, but then when you, you see it all together, it looks better. Like when I started building this part, this extension, I was thinking, this looks hideous. But then uh, I built the other thing, and now it kind of makes more sense. It still looks kind of weird. But I don't care. Oh, I need the clay. I need the clay, I need the clay. Unfortunately, we're gonna keep with doors. We're gonna keep doors because I don't want to deal with zombies inside my house. I was thinking of maybe having an archway instead of a, an actual door. Or, you know, having vines instead of an actual door. But no, we're gonna... Can anybody... Yeah, something's going to come up here. So well, let's just cover this for safety reasons. Whoa. Okay. So we got to choose where we want to put the next room. I was thinking here. We can have a... Or 
Or we could have one here. Have like a have this whole thing come out. This whole thing come out and then we can build the extension here. Maybe this is just too close to the other one. No, no, no. I've changed that dirt. There's plain tricks on us. Wait, I said I was gonna build this off camera. I just I guess I just wanna find a, a place for this. Um can we still walk down? Yeah we can. Good. I know where we're putting it. We're having one here. Yep. We're gonna have it here. And then we're gonna have one here eventually, but not now. We're gonna focus on this one now. Okay, I'll be right back. That area is really pretty. This whole area is really pretty. It's nice to be up above instead of underground. Probably that's why I want to build such a bright, weird house. Because in our single player, we have hidden houses. They'll hide. Anyways, we have it here. It's a small hallway here. Who knows? Uh, all, I'm going to be making rooms for no particular reason. And then we can find what we want to put into them. Maybe that's just a transition room. Maybe we want to put furnaces or or a bed in there or I don't know. At uh, this one I was thinking that the roof could be made with uh, stained glass, yellow stained glass. Oh, sorry, I totally burped. <laughs> ah, so gross. Um, anyways, we we do need to add some windows here and there. Maybe we could maybe make this a little bit taller. I don't know. Let's look at it from down under. Yeah. My English today. Can't formulate words or things that make sense. Let's look at it from down here. The only problem that I'm having with this so far is the exposed wood. Although, I just had an idea. Um, do we have any... Yeah, because this, like that, it looks horrible. Let me just puke. Come down. Okay, let's see if we have any... Yee. Yee. Do we, do we, do we? We do. Okay, let's try this thing. Oh, that's, there's a black... Why is there a black spot? Oh, because, I know, because the staircase starts right there. Um, we want this right here, and then right there, and then right there. That maybe looks better. Let's try this side and compare it, maybe. No, 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 no. That's not what I want you to do. That's definitely not what I want you to do. Um, that one. I guess that one can stay there. We actually need to pull her now. <laughs> We're one block too low. Oh. Uh, let me know what you think about the style so far. It's kind of weird and awkward and I rea realize that. Um, I just think that once we build enough of it, it'll look really cool. I don't know. Once we have different levels and different colors built up. Let's hop on the tr Let's hop on a tree! Let me just hop on a tree. Head up. There we go. Can we see anything from here? Looks 
sort of. Anyways, it's looking like that right now. We have all these trees in the middle, in the way. We won't have those once this is done. But this is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the building style. If you're excited to see what it's going to turn out. I'm excited to see what it's going to turn out. Right now, this is not... like. It needs to be dressed up. Definitely needs to be dressed up. And I'm really excited to see how it's going to evolve. It's, we're going, we're innovating. That's the key word here. Innovating a house style. We'll see. And I love the clay and I love the color. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video. Or maybe leave a comment. Whichever way you want to show your support. I'm open to both options. Bye!